Hey, Cole, I've been on YouTube. I don't even want to talk about the pleasantries today. I've been having so much freaking fun with, with YouTube. You know what? why? Because here's what I learned on YouTube literally in one day. That I, it, there's, there's, there's one video that said the three surefire things to get sharper images. I found another one that said, do this one thing and you will sell boatloads of images. Another one had five, five tips for how to improve your landscape photography. Another one was the 10 surefire ideas for to nail composition. And not only that, it wasn't just in photography, it was in landscape photography. Landscape yeah. photography, compositional tips, guaranteed to make successful photographs. Well, and when I told them all, all up, those up. Yeah, there's like oh, 27, which one are you gonna do? Uh, are you gonna do all 27? I never thought about it that way. But I was so you know, excited. I, I was. I tried to pick up golf once, and I read one of these articles: "Do these ten things to become a better golfer." And I did the first one, and I actually a couple of swings it was going pretty well. And then I started to incorporate them all at once, and it's like I I was literally missing the ball because you know, <laughs> stand this way, hold the club this way, put your head this way, and it got to become such a mess yeah. that I ended up walking away. Couldn't even hit the ball at the end of the day. And I wonder if that doesn't happen when we read all of these articles about do this one thing, do these three things, do these five things. Yeah. And look, we've got friends who who make really, really good content. We really do. I mean, there's there's a number of them out there and we're not no disrespect. Seriously, there's none because uh, you're doing some good work out there. Our message, though. I think is that, you know, if you're looking to improve your photography by finding, you know, the five surefire ways to improve composition and landscape photography, there might be a better way, <laughs> you know. You know, I, I will say that if you are a hobbyist or you are just trying to improve your vacation photos, my guess is those are pretty good shortcuts, pretty good tips. You know, um, I remember when I was a kid reading somewhere that you were supposed to have like a branch or something hanging over to frame the shot. And yep. that stuck with me for years on vacation photos. Then I think those things are valid. But again, if we're talking about you're trying to become a fine art photographer, and again, nobody knows what that means, but yeah. expressive, an photographer, expressive photographer, expressive photographer, then those things aren't going to help you. Yeah. 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 They're formulaic. Right. So that's so that's I think if if I had to come up with the concern, as much as there's good content out there that is sure going to be helpful, just be careful that they don't become formulaic. That They'll become you, rules. There you go. That they don't become, you have to never cut your frame in half. You know, don't ever avoid those power third points. You better put your, so, you know, if, if that's what it's going to do, uh, you know, that, that's. I'm so uh, glad I never learned any of those things. I really am. I, I mean, I've heard the one about putting my horizon, don't put my horizon in the center point and people all the time tell me about the rule of thirds i really do not know what it is well you have the rule of thirds what's your rule of thirds well mine's mine but i know it's got a grid but that's all i know about it and i never want to be told it i'll first of all I'll forget it but i'd never want to know it because it's so silly to think and i've had people say to me but i've looked at some of your images and you follow the rules of composition no i don't yeah. following means that I was conscious of them and I tried to incorporate them in my thing. I just see the way I see and I compose the way it feels good. Yeah. Never referring to thou shalt or thou shalt not because those are so silly. Yeah, And they're a shortcut for just thinking for yourself. These, these do this or don't do that. Yeah. Just compose to what feels good. And we've had this discussion about levels. You know, I laugh when I see people putting their level thing on the back of their screen to ensure that their camera is level. Look at, there are times when you will compose an image and you will be purposely off level because that's what looks right. Yeah. And when you put it on level, it looks wrong because of the slope of the hills or whatever. Yeah. You do what feels right and you don't need rules or these five tips, two tips, one tip.
10. I like, I sp I'm yeah. really partial to 10, 10. I like lists of 10. 11. I like 11. <laughs> That's what we should do. We really should come up with, well, you actually do have the one list of five something yeah. or other to find yeah. your vision. Yeah. But yeah. see, that, that was a different kind of a list. That that list really worked. Well, and I was trying, I was told that if I said, do these five things, and I used words like guarantee and things like that, it would draw people in. Yeah. Did it? How, did you gain an audience know. of what? Five I more? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good short discussion today because, you know, I, the feedback we're getting is if we go over 7.3 minutes, people check out oh no are we yeah. oh we're at 7.2 quick cut, oh, cut. God. 